methane, as uh, mentioned in the presentation, was uh, is definitely a strong indicator because natural gas is about 95% uh, methane, and it's a strong indicator if there is some sort of large, um, you know, uh, emission uh, wherever it's coming from. Um, so, you know, there are other constituents of the remaining 5%, um, and that's why BTEX is of concern. Um, there is maybe some slight um, trace of those compounds in there, um, but natural gas is primarily 95% methane, and uh, of that 5%, the majority of it is um, what's called these lighter alkane chains, um, so propane. So propane that you would see, you know, just off of your barbecue, uh, propane would be one of those other compounds that would be um, slightly part of that. Text is also a small, small part of that. Thank you. Um, okay, I think that covers the on topic questions um, from our pre written questions. I'm going to turn now to some of the QA that has come through. Um, and bear with me, folks. This is, um, I'm going to try to see which ones we haven't answered yet. Um, so one of the first questions that came up is about um, constant air monitoring systems um, and continuous air monitoring. Um, why has that not happened? Um, one of the things I think we want to be clear about what this step is, and, and Catherine, by all means, jump in uh, with me on this one if, if you think I get it wrong or that you have something to add. Um, this is this step is really meant to be boots and suspenders and data, um, and add data to what we know is out there. There is a fence line monitoring system, and, and I fully understand where a lot of folks feel about Space Cow Gas and that fence line monitoring system, so I don't want to, to underplay some of the feelings the community has expressed to us throughout the years about that, but there has been uh, that fence line monitoring system as a part of the injunction of the consent decree. And so that has been there and fence line monitoring and AQMD, correct me if I get this wrong, but is a very effective way to uh, detect emissions. Our hope is that with this SEP, uh, once it's implemented, the community will get more data and information and hopefully um, it'll prove that those air monitoring systems are actually um, doing a good job and have been. And if they're not, then that is a good springboard for discussions about those monitoring systems in Space Cal Gas and a good opportunity for us to, to look further into it. Um, did I miss anything on that? Um, just a clarification. So um, I would say that fence line monitors and air monitoring and, and the mobile platform are good at detecting the levels um, that would be seen at those various locations. Uh, emission is a very specific term in terms of how much is coming off of the facility, uh, and, and estimates are, are generally uh, better done when you have kind of this um, top-down measurement, uh, which is what the airplane measurements provide, and that's what CARB has been doing to uh, provide the es emissions estimates of, of methane coming from the facility, and uh, Ken can also add in if um, there's anything else to that. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. Um, 